So the, the next step then is, hey guys, stick with me. The next step. Okay, so what happens if we have the unconventional case? In other words, the slope on the hip roof is not the same as the slope on the main roof. So I'm going to actually start out with probably the most difficult method of expressing this. Let's give this a 36 foot span. And we're going to go with a 10 12 slope here and a 5 12 slope on the hip. Now, in a conventional hip where the slopes are the same, this setback here was always just half the span, right? Well, in this case, it's not. Since the slopes are not the same, the setback is no longer half the span. So finding that setback is going to be a crucial part of our calculation. Also, in the conventional case, the decrease on the hip side was always the same as the decrease on the common side. Will not be the case anymore. There will be a different decrease on each side. So there will be two different decreases we have to find. The beginning of our process, though, still starts out with the common rafter. We have a 36 foot span and we have a 10 12 slope. We have an 18 foot run to find our height. 10 over 12 equals H over 18. And a quick cross, multiply, and divide gives us that H is 15 feet. Everybody with me so far? Nothing different, right? How do we find the length of the common then? Perfect. The square root of 15 squared plus 18 squared equals... 23.431 feet. So that is this length here. Guess what? That's not this length here. To find that length, the first thing we have to find is the setback. So step two is going to be to find the setback. How do we find the setback? Well, I'm going to look at this triangle formed with that longest jack. It's going to be like this, correct? Do we know anything about that triangle? It's 512 slope. We know that. Good, well put. Good deal. Nope. Bottom is not 18. This side, however, is 15. How do I know that? It has to be the same height. The, the hip rafter and the common rafter meet at the same peak, right? So their height has to be the same. I'll show you the model here. So if I'm looking at here, this is my height on the common right here, correct? Yeah. Well, the hip comes up to that same point. That height of the hip has to be the same height. Then if I can't even turn it so you can see it. That height in here on the hip has to be the same height as it does for the common. They all come up to the same peak height. <coughs> they all start at the same wall height. So the height is the same. So we take the height. We take the height from our common rafter of 15 feet, and that's also the height on our hip. So what we're trying to do is we're actually taking this calculation here and going in reverse to try to find this setback here. So it's going to be 5 over 12 as my slope equals height of 15 over x. Get 36. 36 feet. So my setback is 36 feet. Yep. That's the total from the end to that peak. 
that's across the bottom here. Not all the way across because this, this isn't a full common truss. It's just a single slope mono like that. Why is that bigger than the run here? Because the slope was lower. If the slope of the hip is higher, that setback's going to be smaller than half the span. If the slope of the hip is lower, it's going to be more than half the span. <coughs> so the slope of the hip was lower than the slope of the main roof. That setback is more than half the span. Yeah. That's the distance from the end of the roof to where that hip comes in and hits the peak. 36? I just cross multiplied and divided. 12 times 15 and divided by 5. Because that's a 512 slope. I know the height has to be 15, the same as the height here. Because that goes this way. And the slopes are different. If I have to get to 15 feet high, but coming from this direction, I have this slope. But coming from this direction, I have this slope. This has to run a lot further to get up to that height. That's lower slope. Sit down, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm coming up to the same height here, right? Yeah. If I'm coming at a 10, 12 slope, that's relatively steep, right? I'm coming at a 512 slope. It goes up more gradually, right? Yeah. So it takes longer. It takes a longer run to get up that same height. So 36 feet is actually... You know, normally, if, the, if it's a conventional hip, if the slopes are the same, this setback is just half of the span. But in this case, since that slope is smaller, it's going to be more than half. In this case, it's the full span because the slope is actually half the slope. There is a ratio between the, the slopes. There's also the ratio between half span and the setback, but we're not going to go into stuff like that. If the slopes were the same, if this were 10, 12 here, this setback would be 18, just half the span. But it's not 10, 12, it's 5, 12. So it's shallower. So it takes longer to set back is 36 feet. And that's how far back the first raft is. The first common raft is going to be 36 feet from the end of the roof. Okay, that's where I lost it. Right? Okay. okay. Got her? Right. So now, the length of this longest hip jack here, and I drew this disproportionately. I should have drawn this peak way back to here is what I should have done. Yeah, that's why I was sure. So this longest, longest uh, hip jack here is this one, is going to be the square root of 15 squared plus 36 squared. It's 39 feet. So now that we know that, we can come up here and we can put in 39 feet for that. So now we have the longest hip jack. We can find the next longest one here. We know this is, is at 18. This is going to be what? 16. So this is just the same as what we did before. So we're looking on the hip side. This is 18. This is 39. This is going to be 16, and this is going to be x. So 18 over 16 equals 39 over x. So 39 times 16 divided by 18. 34.667. So we go ahead and subtract. 39. 0, 0, 0, minus 34.667 is going to be 4.333 feet, otherwise known as 4 foot 4 inches. This is a setback. On the hip side, 
is going to be a different setback on the common side. On the common side, we've got this main triangle here, 23.431 and 36. The next triangle is going to be what? We we'll call this Y, and this is going to be 34 feet, two foot spacing. That next rafter would be over here, two feet. So we have 36 to 34 equals 23.431 to y. Cross, multiply, and divide. So 23.431 times 34 divided by 36. 22.129. So take my 23.431 minus 22.129. One point three oh two feet is my decrease. Otherwise known as one foot point three oh two times twelve three inches. Subtract the three times sixteen. Nine point nine or ten, so five eighths. Ten sixteenths or five eighths of an inch. So one foot three and five eighths inches is the decrease on the common side of the row. So there's a different decrease on each side. Four foot four inches on the jack on the hip side and one foot three and five eighths on the common side. Now we will take more time to go over this. This is just an introduction to hips, uh, unconventional hips. We're going to spend a couple more hours on this at least. Don't worry. For now, I want you to do the same homework I assigned from Tuesday. Those packets, make sure you get those problems done that I gave to you for next Thursday, it looks like. Yeah, what's that?